Jesse Neal is known for his signature mohawk, tattoos, and spearing through competitors in the wrestling ring. But what not everyone realizes, he's a true American hero. In wrestling, everybody thinks it's just a gimmick this, gimmick that. But with me, it's actually true. Neal was a petty officer on board the USS Cole when tragedy struck. It was a huge ship, and I thought it was indestructible. On October 12, 2000, the ship was docked in Yemen when two people on a boat loaded with a thousand pounds of C4 blew it up. I was 20 years old and I've never seen anything like that in my life. 17 sailors were killed. One of them was Neil's best friend, Mark Niedo. I talked to him right before it went off and because uh, we have headsets and uh, he uh, he had one down in the engineering space. And, and we talked. That's the last time I heard from him. So much for being a tough guy. <laughs> Neil's toughness was tested over the past 11 years. Today, he still struggles with the images of the attack. The nightmares, the, the night sweats, waking up screaming was getting worse, and I needed something. In nine years after the bombing, Neil found it. In 2009, he fulfilled his dream and Nieto's by signing on to be a professional wrestler. Me with wrestling keeps that memory alive, and it keeps me alive, and it keeps me on my path. And I believe I'm doing right things in the world, and as long as I'm doing that, the world will still go around. Bin Laden took credit for bombing the coal. Sunday night, Neil was at home when he heard Bin Laden was killed. I, and I want to say when people die, it's a good thing. It's not, it's never is, no matter who it is. It's not a good thing when people die. Of course, he deserved a lot worse. But um, it, it brought everybody together that one moment. And that one moment will live on forever. And I, I tell people now that, that that Monday, that Monday morning when the sun came up, it, the sun shined a little brighter. I'll tell you that. In Orlando, Mark Jenkins, News 13.